I'd like to uh, dedicate uh, this reading uh, to my grandmother, Ellery Lewis, who is not here, but is here with us. Grendel. All lions must lean into something other than a roar. James Baldwin, for instance, singing Precious Lord. His voice as weary as water broken over his scalp in a storefront sanctified church's baptismal pool all those years ago when he wanted to be somebody's child and on fire in that being. Lord, I want to be somebody's child and chosen water spilling over their scalp, water taking the shape of their longing, a deer diving into evening traffic in the furrow drawn in the air over the hood of the car, power, and wanting to be something alive and open. Lord, I want to be alive and open. A glimpse of power, the shuffle of a mother's hand over a sleeping child's forehead as if clearing the city's rust from its face which we mostly are, a halo of rust, a glimpse of power. James Baldwin leaning into the word light, his voice jostling that single grain in his throat as if he might drop it, or oh, already has. I am calling to that grain of light, to that gap between his teeth, where the many of us fatherless sleep and bear and be whatever darkness or leaping thing we can be in James Baldwin's mouth, my difficult beauty, my weak and worn, my future as any number of angels, which is not unlike the beast Grendel coming out of the wild heaven into the hills and halls of the mead house at the harpist's call with absolute prophecy in his breast and a desire for mercy, for a friend, an end to drifting in loneliness. And in that coming down out of the hills, out of the trees for once, bringing humans the best vision of themselves, which of course must be slaughtered. And the last poem I'll read is called uh, Children Listen. I'm only gonna be here three minutes. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, we can go forever. Children, listen. It turns out, however, I was deeply mistaken about the end of the world. The body in flames will not be the body in flames, but just a house fire ignored. The black sails of that solitary burning boat rubbing along the legs of lovers flung into a New York sky by a carousel. The lovers too sick in their love to notice a man drenched in fire on a porch, or a child aflame mistaken for a dog, mistaken for a child that did not run, that ran to tell of a bomb that did not knock before it entered in Gaza with its glad tidings of abundant joy. In Kazmiris, a god is weeping in a window, one golden hand raised above his head as if he slipped on the slick rag of the future. Our human kindnesses, unremarkable as the flies rubbing their legs together while standing on a slice of cantaloupe. Children, you were never meant to be human. You must be the grass. You must grow wildly over the graves. Thank you.